Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a face mask in Adobe Illustrator using Illustrator Warp Effects. So let's start. Let's start with an artboard that's 1920 by 1080 pixels and I want you to draw a rectangle over the entire artboard. Give it a dark color, I just chose this blue and select it and go to Object, Lock and lock the selection. That way we can't select it. This is just to provide some contrast. Then press M and let's make our base shape. So click once and make a rectangle that's 450 by 200 pixels and press OK. You'll get this box that pops up. Now I'm just gonna apply these colors to it right here. You want a kind of darker inside and a lighter stroke. So if I click on it, this is what the color profile looks like. It's kind of right here, sitting here. And the stroke, you want to have a thickness of about 15 points. Okay. Now select your object and we're gonna duplicate it by pressing Control C and Control Shift V, which is paste in place. And we're going to change the stroke to a dark color, a dark gray, and this is going to create our stitching. Now you wanna make sure that this fill has no fill like that. So we just have the stroke. And we're gonna change the stroke width to one. We'll press okay. So now it's a thin line that we see right there. We're gonna go into this stroke panel right over here and you're gonna select dashed line and you want a dash of about three points like this. Then with that line still selected, go to object, path and offset path. And this is just gonna duplicate it so you have two sets of stitching going around your entire object. Uh, do an offset of about three points, meter, four meter limit, that's okay. Cool. Now we're going to draw uh, some low lines on the inside of our shape right here. We're going to select a line right about here, hold shift and draw it up to about this point. You want a bit of spacing between the edges. Of course, we don't want this dash line on this, so we're going to uncheck that dash line and we're going to make these lines about uh, white, a little off white like that. Then change your stroke of these lines to about six. Yeah, that's about, that's good. And we're going to change the width profile. If we select this button right here, which is beside your stroke, you're going to see this arc shape right here. And this is what we're going to choose. We're going to choose this. And now you see our line kind of gets wider and narrower. Then we can select our lines, hold Alt and Shift, and move it down about yay big, and press Control D and duplicate it so you have about four lines sitting in the center of your object like that. Then select everything, make sure that it's aligned by just going horizontal align center like that. Now everything's aligned, very cool. Okay, now let's apply some effects. So we're gonna select our entire object apart from these lines. We're not gonna modify them first. We're gonna go to effect, warp, and then arc upper. And this is going to bend the top of our shape. And we want this arc to be, yeah, about 30% on the horizontal, okay? Not vertical, on the horizontal. Press okay. Then to make the nose shape, or the kind of like a nose bobble, we're gonna go to effect, warp, and fisheye. And if we go fisheye, and we select it to move all the way this way, what we're gonna see is we're gonna get more and more of that pronounced nose bop that we have right up here. So where the nose goes. And we're gonna press okay once we have that. So it's gonna be around negative 100%. Just make sure that these little lines don't clip out. Okay, press okay. Then select your shape apart from these lines and go to object, expand appearance. Cool. Now select everything, including these lines. And we're gonna to go to effect, warp, arc, lower. This is going to happen. Don't worry about this. Just adjust the bend. Make sure you're on horizontal, not vertical and adjust the bend so that it goes down like this, maybe about 20, yeah, about 20%, something like that. Should have a little bit of a bend downwards. Yeah, let's, let's work with that, okay. Make sure they don't have any funny shapes like that, that was kind of weird, but press okay once you're done. Cool. Now, we've created our shape, it's pretty simple. We see that we have the nose, we have a bit of a bottom, so it's kind of like in 3D. Select the entire object, go to Object, Expand Appearance, and we're just gonna select this line, 
and press R, which is your rotate key, hold shift and rotate it so it's pointing upwards and do the same with this shape. Select it, press R and hold shift and move it that way. And that kind of makes it look like it's in a, it's moving away from each other. We can adjust these lines by selecting them and just moving them downwards a bit to increase the spacing. So it looks like the shape is kind of, this is going upwards, this is going downwards. Let's add the handles on the side around the ears. We're gonna press L, click and hold, draw it about that big, give it a stroke of about six and it shouldn't have any fill. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold that, move it into here. Basically a circular shape is the way to go. Hold shift and alt to duplicate the object to that side and to throw it to the background, just select everything, right click, arrange, bring to the front and there you have it. You've now created your face mask. It's really that simple. So I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, write them in the comments below. Uh, if you have any suggestions, write them in the comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out our other videos. And of course, as always, have a great day and stay safe.